About two weeks ago, the University of Detroit Mercy School of Dentistry made hit headlines when five students tested positive for COVID-19. The school traced three positive cases to transmissions on campus when students ignored social distancing and mask guidelines and gathered to take senior photos. Well, the other two cases happened off campus and all of the students were isolated. Even before those cases were found, though, we were curious what kind of safety protocols are in place at the school. Here's Nick Monticelli, who was invited inside. The day after the dean of this school sent a campus-wide alert telling everyone of the positive cases, nobody seemed to have any concerns. Those who got the coronavirus ignored masks and social distancing rules. Those rules and even stricter safety protocols are on every floor of this dental school. Before students get their hands on real people, they are upstairs in a simulation lab. And before that, a classroom. But all of this looks drastically different, starting with class size. There are four groups of 144 students, all broken up into small sections. Early year students would have all 144 classmates here. Now, it's just 32. The rest are online. The simulation lab is where students get their first hands-on experience. But every other station is closed, so there are far fewer students allowed in at a time. And the dean of the School of Dentistry says they have found an upside to smaller classes. I've heard from numerous faculty who say they like the interaction better because there's fewer students at any one time. They can spend more time with students, and the educational experience has actually improved. So on top of rotating the students through the labs and classrooms, rooms. They also have procedures in the lab. Like Alyssa right now, she's a dental student. She's done for the day. She's cleaning her section up. When she leaves, the next student that comes in will move to the next station. That way, there is nobody using stations back to back. Downstairs, later year students perform actual procedures on actual patients. And while they've got social distancing in place with chairs closed, the reality is... Dentistry comes with certain risks because of the aerosols that are produced during the procedure. However, they have found ways to minimize those risks, doubling up on personal protection equipment and... We've installed uh, suction systems on the chairs to reduce the spray extraorally, and we've changed our air handling systems here to provide more air purification. Especially with those positive cases in dental students, they are just as careful with real patients. Extending hours to spread appointments out, the patients are screened before they are allowed in, and they see the same student every time. So that we've isolated and narrowed the groups down to control any possibility of exposure to anyone who might be COVID positive. Which brings us back to the beginning. The school says because potential exposure was limited, they felt comfortable staying open. In Detroit, Nick Bonacelli, Local 4 News Today.